was now my friend today before we even do anything else let us start by acknowledging the executive producer of this show whom is god almighty god almighty let us give thanks father lord thank you for life thank you for greatness thank you even for this person that is watching this video today thank you for life from wherever he is bless us father and help us to spread love through your name jesus we pray trusting and believing amen my friend here we believe in jesus and we believe in spreading love peace honesty forgiveness and unity watch till the end hit the like button and tell us where you are watching i am wise one one h with my friend kasungu straight out of africa let's dive in can you notice the hidden face in the picture above only two in ten of you will see it if you do like this video put done in the comments and then share this with a friend and see if they can spot it hmm can you spot it did you ever get inside the actual craft i was in there for a startup sure how do you how do they image how do they how do you look out the windows the actually we didn't look out any windows there weren't any windows the only place we had any uh, visibility at all was it was done with uh, uh, with cameras or video type things at that time. The whole big problem with this, with the disc, is that it's so exacting in its design and so forth, and it can't be used, uh, say, with uh, it can't be used as a uh, like we use aircraft today with uh, dropping bombs and and. You know, having machine guns, you know, in the wings and that kind of stuff. Uh, it's, uh, it's designed so exactly that you can't add anything. You can't. It's got to be. It's got to be just right. It's a big problem in the, in the design. Uh, where things are put, uh, say, you know, where the center of the aircraft is, that kind of even. The fact that we raise the tree shape so the color guy can get in and stuff. And the actual ship was extended uh, back to its river and bridge. But actually, we had a long period of introduction into meetings. You know, so uh, we didn't use it. Oh, good vibes, my friends. Oh my god, my friends, F3, F35 bishops the crowd over Miami Beach, you see? This one is one of those, uh, I think, uh, what type of prince is this? Oh my friend, there is some of those friends here, you see there is a friend of mine that is very fascinated here about jets and this prince. This guy that passes me through and he tells me about, uh, about them. And now I'm wondering uh, which one is this. My friend, come and take a look at this one, please. Hey, this one is, which one is this? It's called F-35B. This is incredible. Oh my god. Good people of us. Have you ever heard of someone that uh, drives this stuff? But they are driven by robots. Because myself, I've never seen them. I've never even had encounter with one and they wonder how my friends if those things can move in the speed they, they are saying then how is it they are driven by humans my friends inside there it's crazy oh my god this one it belongs to some rocky martin type guy do you know that guy those names english guy why so and they are full of good vibes now i'm surprised this plane is over here on the sea. What is it doing? My friends, 
This is new stuff uh, to me. Have you, did you see these things? Our friends over Miami see if there's someone watching from there. How are you doing? Tell us, did you see this stuff? It's crazy. Oh, what are those good vibes guys up to? Huh. It's interesting. Oh, man. This guy's had a show. Free for free. And it's good vibes, you see? Okay. Friends, family, boys and girls, pull up a seat. Because I'm what I'm about to tell you. I don't know if it's going to rock your world the way that it has mine, but I have been buzzing and uh, I, I, I level up. Okay, level up. I don't know what level we were on. Level up. What I'm about to tell you did not come through me sitting around trying to put one and two together and make it equal three. I was taken to the throne room the throne room where the library is where the pedestal is kept and I was told what I'm about to tell you came out it came from the voice of the true living God where the essence resides where the where the essence is more concentrated there there is a place where this essence is more concentrated where it hasn't been distorted in any way that is where the entire truth is. This is where the library is. And this is where I was last night. And an entire host gave me a lesson. And this is, it explains everything, but it is going to be difficult for some people to hear. I am not going to defend it. What I'm about to say is precisely what happened. I'm going to tell you what they said because what they said is going to trump whatever you say. I guarantee you that ain't nobody coming at me to tell me something different than these hosts sang, sang this song to me last night. They explained that something, this is the best image that I could get AI to generate for me to explain what I So they were explaining the Bible, okay? The Bible as scripture, okay? Scripture, it's script. It is intended to represent the best way to be here, the best way to live on earth. And it is intended to describe for you what your God is like, what your source is like. It was intended to describe for you the place that you came from. That's what it was supposed to be. I was told that these instructions came down as a complex geometric monad looking similar to this thing, but nowhere close where it, the way that it looked to me, it was a spinning undulating crystal structure within it. It contained millions and millions of terabytes of data. Okay. Complex geometric shapes within it that was intended to basically represent the original code that was used to create this reality. They said, we sent this wisdom to seed it into the minds and hearts of the humans who were on the planet because they began to express some destruction, fear, violence, graping, cannibalism, etc. okay? They said, we sent the word to the planet. The word meaning we want humans to know that there is a perfect way. Perfection is possible in the realm, in the space where you are. Perfection is possible. There is a way to live a more perfect life there. Here, here's the monad. Here's the perfect instructions. Here are the instructions that you can follow. Here's the code that contains the instructions to express within yourself the perfection that you are because of the perfection of the place from which you emerged. They were saying, here are the building blocks of a perfect experience. Okay. You need to know that there is a more perfect way to be. Here are the instructions. Okay. 
So these instructions remained quasi-dimensional, spinning. Okay, these instructions actually laid in the evaporate fields. They laid in the water. These instructions, the memories, they got sent down into the water. Okay, living water. And then as you, as you breathe, you breathe in moisture particles. As you drink, you drink the water from the planet. And within this, the code for a perfect existence, the more perfect experience, the code was within this. The dark magicians on this planet, I don't know where they came from. I have ideas. The dark magicians, some dark entities here, somebody that you might call Satan, but y'all's ideas of Satan and the devil are very, you really don't understand what you're dealing with. I can tell no difference, no different than when you try to talk about God. You don't understand what you're dealing with, with that either. The darkest entity and its soldiers, whatever word you have for that, these dark magicians, they recognized this code running here. They said to themselves, the code for a perfect for a perfect experience for a perfect creation it exists there a whole entire code it's there but if the people begin to unpack this monad and integrate all of the pieces within the, their existence they will stop doing the things that feed us what you would call sin so, um suffering, violence, lack, all the things that humans do, war, that kind of stuff. They said if these humans get their hands on this code, if they begin to unpack and un unravel this, they're going to stop doing the things we need them to do in order for us to eat. So let's cut it off before it ever happens. What they did is they took this monad that contained all of the instructions for a perfect experience on earth, for a perfect earth, they took it and then they started to dismantle it and they pretend that they're standing around this ball. This is what I saw. Pretend that they're standing around it and these dark magicians with cloaks and hoods as represent, that's how they were represented in this vision. Imagine them going up and each of them taking a little piece uh, off of it, pluck another piece off of it, pluck another piece off it. Then they take all the life that was within it because it was spinning and undulating and vibrating and it had geometry within it. They, they plucked it, plucked, then they caused it to be two-dimensional. They put it in word. They put it in a book. They took it out of its original living form, only some pieces of it, not all of it. Then they took it out of its quasi-dimensional shape and caused it to be two-dimensional. And then they set themselves up as authorities of it, claiming it to be the word of God, because technically within it, it contains bits and pieces of this original instructional monad. And then what they, this is precisely the words that came from the throne of heaven. They took life-giving instructions and turned it into life-taking law. It was not law. It was instruction. It was informing that you there you have an option of a more perfect existence. This place that you are in carries within it the potential for perfection. It was life giving instructions, but these dark magicians took it, dismantled it, took it out of its higher dimensional state, put it in a two dimensional state, wrote it in a book, and then started treating it as though it's law. Even all the things you hear where God says, if you do that, you're, you're going to feel my wrath. When I was up there, they said, no, it was more like, hey, if you stick the fork in that outlet, you're going to get electrocuted. Like, don't do that. That's how they showed it to me. They said it was never, you're going to get my wrath if you do that. It was like, we've seen this before, bro. Like, we just know how this ends type thing. It wasn't intended to put fear in you. So now... This has created a veil. It has created a camouflage. But they showed me that the truth, that the entire truth is contained in every part. They told me, you can see the entire code, all of the instructions in the spaces in between. And then I saw a Bible like this open up and then the whole code rose up out of it like an undulating ball. And they told me, those with eyes to see can always see the full word. 
They just have to take it off of the pages and journey through the spaces in between. There's going to be a part two because there's so much more. I hope this made sense. Hi, ah, my friends. Please say, what do you think about that? What is making this cloud formation? Look at this. Ah, looks like some tube-like, uh, tube-like stuff there in the okay, crowd. Please. Let me help her. Okay, I'll get it. All right. I'll get it. I'll get it. What'd you do? Good. I'm sorry, but I had to get her out of the fence. Okay. She's okay. She's alright. Huh. You see those ducks and the stand it up? This is a photo that came from the dark web. A lot of people believe that this woman has some kind of illness because of her skin. But come to find out, she's actually a Dracodian alien. The reason why I'm speaking about this topic is because a lot of people have it confused about these aliens and what they really mean to this planet. What if I told you they are not the real aliens, but we are? You ever ask yourself why do these aliens have all this advanced technology? They could travel the universe, they could travel to the deep oceans, and we can't do nothing? It's because this is really their planet. The reason why I'm speaking about this topic is because I see the Las Vegas alien story just came back up once again, and they said these aliens was using cloak technology. They can do more than that. We have some people that ask this question right here. If these aliens is so advanced, why do they hide from us when they see us? That's an easy question to answer. Do you see the cows, the birds, the pigs, the chickens, people? Do you see what people do to other life forms on this planet? Shit, I hide too if I see people coming. 2024 is the year of exposing everything. You see what's going on with Hollywood celebrities? Everything is being exposed. That's real small because once these aliens start coming out, it's going to blow your mind. Let me tell you something. If you look at this image and say, oh my God, that's an alien. Just know when they look at us, they say, oh my God, that's an alien. It's no difference. Oh, my friends. Huh, pretty interesting. Leave your comments about that. So what I didn't realize is that that happened and it's making a fucking fire. Holy shit. What? I just scooped up this bass trying to eat another bass. Look at this bitch. He choking on him. You believe that shit? Look how big he is. That motherfucking fish is the same size as him and he's choking on it. Look at that. Fucking at my wife, you know what I'm saying? That's fucking cool. Look at that. Oh, someone that took uh, some a bite that uh, is hard to swallow. Do not eat clams, oysters, lobster, shrimp. These are all brooms that clean up the ocean by gathering the toxins which you then eat. Different humans have different It's beliefs. the most difficult counterfeit gold to distinguish. Its density is nearly identical to that of gold, making it impossible to differentiate by weighing and it's equally tough to distinguish based on appearance or color. It's tungsten, the most commonly found in the filament of incandescent light bulbs. It has a melting point reaching as high as 3422 degrees, making it one of the hardest metals, second only to diamond, and five times harder than steel. These characteristics make it particularly challenging to process. But we know gold is very soft, so how can it be disguised as gold? It is precisely because tungsten is difficult to work with, Ordinary people cannot melt it or deform it, so the tungsten produced by general smelters is not in blocks, but more often sold in powder form. Tungsten powder has a wide range of applications and is known as the teeth of industry, as it can make steel even harder. But if it is mixed into gold because their densities are identical, it is challenging to decipher the fake from the real. Unless the gold is completely melted, carefully inspected, or tested with special instruments, it's almost impossible for ordinary buyers to identify these differences. And the larger the piece of gold, the harder it is to detect if any tungsten has been added. Oh my god. We can be called out there, but it's pretty interesting we have known now.
A good vibes guy was taking a ride there and is feeding cabbages to elephants. Ah, this is lovely. This is good vibes, my friend. You see, even the elephants love cabbages. Ah, this one is a nice, uh, wonderful guy, full of good vibes. It's what you are always preaching here, my friend. Love to all animals and everything around you that you love yourself. You see, that way God will bless us and uh, the universe will be full of good vibes. Yeah, that elephant just felt nice for, uh, because of that. And that good vibes guy will uh, receive the blessings back. Oh my god. You see the way this dog is running, my friend. It must have seen something crazy. Oh, oh, is you, my friend? It's just playing with the water. I thought it was scared or something. You mean dogs can do this in the water? This is crazy. Unbelievable. Oh, it's like they can run on water. How? Good people of earth, can your dogs do this? Oh. Ah, and if you don't know, please uh, don't try throwing your dog there in the water. You see, all this is for entertainment purposes. You can research online and other places, but you, if you don't test with your dogs kindly, you see, just watch and spread good vibes. But this one is crazy. But the water is not that deep. Hey, you wonder. Oh, my friends, look. Hi. Oh, looks like it's a natural thing for dogs to run on water. Ah, this is unbelievable. I didn't know that is possible. Huh? Can our dog do that? I ask when my you friend. think less, you vibrate higher. Thinking is a survival mechanism. The lower your vibration, the more attached to your thoughts you are. When you stop your thinking or become the observer of your thoughts, you become more present and you enter the flow state. Ah, oh. here we go. You okay? Oh my god. Dude, what the heck? There's no way this is happening right now. Are you seeing this? This is a random crow, bro. I, listen, this isn't even staged or anything. It's just, I tried it and it worked. He's shitting all over my hand and it's hot. That's oh, disgusting. nice, nice. Yes, it's cool. Aw. Dude, you should keep him. Never mind. Man, that's adorable, incredible, interesting. Whoa! Hello, my healthy friends. Have you seen this video? That is definitely not cashews. Oh my goodness, you guys. So many fakes going around. Just once again, try to check for tampering the best you can. Buy from reputable stores. I would like to know your thoughts about this one. And if you're enjoying our videos so far, please give a follow. And as always, I want you to stay safe <laughs> and stay healthy. Oh my God. <laughs> you must just be honest, please. The following footage was captured from a home security camera in Nevada, and it truly just raises so many questions. As you can see, the sky, there's no clouds, there are no storms, it's not late at night, there's no explanation for what you're going to see. When the strike hits the tree, it's like a loud pop. But the question is, how did this happen? what struck the tree it wasn't a firecracker nobody was messing with explosives so what happened here take a look at this footage and tell me what you think of trees that hey ah, and then there's this some guy here with the ability to use google math to to just his advantage is zoomed in on some place here and he's showing us some something that he thinks is uh, mysterious you see look at this what looks like a giant skeleton there that is just heading towards the beach this is crazy oh my god my friends 
Ah, are you thinking what I'm thinking? What do you think I'm thinking? Oh, I'm thinking how could this have reached here? What is it? Is it fake or real or... My God. Oh, these are the incredible times we are living in. These are definitely the best times for humanity to unite. Let you me see? give you guys a breakdown of what really happens in these cloning centers. I'm making this video once and only once. What they do is they extract the consciousness out of the human vessel. They will put the human vessel on a different island that you won't find. They will erase the memories and replace them with new memories. Kind of like that movie with Ana de Armas and... Who was that other guy? Ryan Gosling? Comment that movie. I don't, I don't remember the name of that movie. So yeah, they'll replace the memories of the clone and they will put different memories or no memories at all. They can always give you your memories back, but they usually don't. Now remember, the consciousness of the actual person is in the clone. However, their mind is distorted because they are replacing memories and these people are also programmed. Oh, huh. it's crazy, man. Extremity. Ah, it's good vibes, dog there. Hey, look at this. Oh. Ah, these animals are interesting, my friends. You see? And they understand a lot of stuff. Even sometimes when you think they don't understand. You see? So you should always spread love to them. Peace, compassion, and good vibes. That one decided to put the back leg just to be dramatic, but it's still fine. It's good vibes. Spreading love all the way. Even to animals, to everything, my friends. Hit the like button kindly if you have it. And uh, join us if you are not our subscriber. Subscribe there and help us in spreading love, you see? Oh, this is very adorable. Ah, what does this one have around this neck? Oh. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so a lot of people don't okay. know this. That's a French fry. You put a couple of toothpicks what? in your cooking oil before you fry anything. Okay. Your oil will not burn. I never knew that. I mean, wow, TikTok teaches me everything. Ha! Huh. Did you know that? Do you think it works? That tree got hit extremely poor tree. And then there's this good other vibes dog here that uh, just decided to go there and cuddle the baby. You see? Ah, it's incredible. Even this one understands how to put the blanket on the baby. These animals are wonderful, my friends. You see? This baby calls a husky because it's good vibes. From a popcorn life art. This is incredible. Hmm, someone's daughter's room was suspicious, quiet, and then they found this inside their room. Their dogs there chilling with the hands. Good vibes. <laughs> oh, this is incredible, my friends. Ah, this golden girl got a golden boy. And it's lovely, they both look nice together. I think getting a dog was the right choice for this little child here, you see? Because she seems happy. Same to this one, playing there with the things and it's just incredible, my friends. Oh, if you have a children out there and you have pets, tell us in the comments the relationship. When you surface lay potatoes on top of the soil instead of burying them. I prepared the bed by fertilizing with some blood and bone. I then laid the potatoes down evenly spaced on top of the soil about 30 centimeters apart. This time I simply just put mulch on top of the potatoes. I just let the crop grow and then it slowly began to die back around the three month mark. What I'm gonna do is remove all this mulch and hopefully we've got a bunch of tubers just sitting on top of the soil as it's supposed to be, apparently. Look at that. Looks like a creature. What's my conclusion? In this particular experiment, I'd have to say for what we put into the bed to what we got out is pretty disappointing. Would I do this experiment again? Oh, look, I'm not sure. Let's oh, that's pretty interesting. Oh, what's going on here? Wait, my friends, this is crazy. 
Dragon is floating in there. How is this even happening? Ah, my friends. Thank you very, very much for watching up to this far. See, sometimes uh, my friends starts to pass me fruits dramatically, and it's good vibes all along. You see, my friend, I really love you because you have watched up to this far. And even Kasungumo here loves you because, my friend, you always hit the like button and the subscribe button. You see, Kasungumo believes in you here. Always, my friend, spread love and peace. Till next time, my friends. Good vibes. Have the one.